I am a huge fan of horror. I love comedy. I love films about ghosts or supernatural. When that combination is done right, it makes me so happy. And The Frighteners is the film that I will always reference if given a, an example of how that is done right and how to do that subgenre. The film was released in 1996, directed by Peter Jackson, written by Jackson and Fran Walsh, starring Michael J. Fox, Trini Alvarado, I hope I pronounced that correctly, I doubt I did, and Peter Dobson. And the description from IMDb is as follows. And it sounds quite dark, actually, but it's not, it's not, as, dark, it's not as dark as it sounds. After a tragic car accident that kills his wife, a man discovers he can communicate with the dead to con people. However, when a demonic spirit appears, he may be the only one who can stop him from killing the living and the dead. And it does, it sounds really dark and really sinister. And if this was done as a pure horror film, it could have been really quite eerie. But actually, it's hilarious. It's so funny. And I think the reason it's funny is a lot of the interaction with the ghosts that we meet. We have some really interesting ghosts, some very charismatic, funny, lively ghosts who have really well-rounded, fabulous personalities that are great fun to watch. And for me, that's what makes this engaging because they're just, they're so entertaining and I just can't fault the ghost characters. In terms of Michael J. Fox, he plays Frank Bannister. I love his performance. The interaction with the ghosts is is brilliant. It's great fun. The style of comedy is very... I think it's very easy to get along with. I'm not a fan of certain types of comedy that rely on maybe visual gags. And there are visual aspects of this that are quite funny because you're dealing with these ghost characters and some of them look pretty insane. But I think there's a nice amount of wit in this as well. Is it scary? I'd say it's maybe... At no point is it scary. It's not a scary film. But if, for example, you were watching it in the dark on your own, then there may be a couple of moments where something sinister happens unexpectedly. But I'd say it's very heavily more of a comedy that utilises a lot of the tools that a horror would, but in a very comedic fashion. If you like comedy horror... horror horrority? Comer? I, 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 I don't know what we're calling this. But if you like that subgenre of horror... I think you will really thoroughly enjoy it. It's the best example that I can think of that does comedy horror. It's very well acted. Very well developed. An absolute delight to watch. It's almost two hours long, which is unusual for a, a comedy horror. They're usually a lot quicker and more basic, to be honest. But this one, I think, it's really good. It's... It's perfect, it's got a brilliant cast, very well cast, great performances, love the ghosts, love the humour style, fantastic editing, wonderfully shot. I can't find a fault with it. I can try hard to find a fault and I just can't. For me, The Frighteners is a prime example of how to do comedy horror.